when they saw that dot, I, I couldn't I couldn't understand it. Like for me, it was quite easy, right? But for normal consumers, when they saw the black dot, they thought that that was like a dirt. You know, it was like unhygienic to put in the mouth. But look at it clearly. It's actually just where they host it on the mole. Is it a very frequent thing? Like, do you get a lot of uh, oh, yes. feedback like that? Like, so, on an average, maybe every month I receive su- such a feedback. Like, and, and it's like all tracked on Shopee. Okay, but outside of like, you know, that, that round dot, like, is there anything that they, they bring up that you, you find is, you know, kind of strange or any odd um, cases? Um, once in a while, you know, like our main color, the scraper is in brown. They will tell me that brown color is the wrong color. Like, it's unhygienic, it's, it's dirty. Okay. So I'm like, okay. So you get a return request because of the, the yeah. color. That's the ones in all you get this kind of funny kind of request. Just interesting. But I don't know whether you can remember, Kelvin, you know, like there was this celeb that we know of. I, I'm just trying to drive you back to that, that incident, you know. It used to be something that when she speak to us. I it, think I know what you're talking the, about. It was very tricky, you know, because we were in an enclosed room that she speaks. It was a bit of a... You know, that smell wasn't quite pleasant. You know, after she used our product, after a while, uh, and she tell us this thing. Without the toothpaste, just the tongue cleaner by scraping it alone, the white coat is out, the breath is gone. But well, we helped her, right? Yeah. And she was amongst some of the few uh, celebrities that we sent out products to. Right. I think quite a number of them really tried the, the product. And if I may say so, a lot of free content out of it. That's right. Yeah, they were very, very supportive. Alongside, you know, all, all the other um, regular users that were using the, the products and also giving you a, a lot of a lot of content to post. Right. I mean, like even, you know, now, now that we are on this topic of, of brand ambassadors and stuff like that, you look at our good friend like Mei Sing, you know, she has been helping us uh, not because that we have paid her. I mean, in all honesty, she has been doing all this content is because the product is good by itself. Uh, you look at our Ling Ling Jie, Liu Ling Ling, you know, she has been also helping us. I mean, she's featured in Sing Show, for right. example, right? In our stand, yeah, she's still there, um, standing high and tall, yeah, she's still Correct. at the top so, of all so we have, we have a lot of all this live feed of of real testimonials that came upon. Now, what's interesting is that I think more people will be trying to ask us, you know, like, are there new products? Yeah, like, what's coming next and what we're going to be doing to, you know, not, not exactly to capitalize, but how is the brand going to evolve That's to right. what it is right now? I mean, right now, we are, we are a chisel factory. We are a, a single hit. Our family is growing, yeah. right? Um, it's going to be a couple in the future. That's I right. I guess I can leak this news right now. It doesn't... Uh, I think, yeah, we are, we are in the right junction to share this news. So... When the boy and the girl comes together, you know, we have a larger demographics of consumers that can use our products, different features that they can be expecting. It's going to be eco-friendly. You know, you can recycle your toothbrush, ensuring that we are along the government message, not the newborn, but, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the eco-friendly messages. Uh, and then, of course, we want it to be more artistic. A toothbrush is not something that you have to force yourself to get to the bathroom to brush it. We have the range of better than Picasso. So this is where our brand is it's really evolving, you know, like like it's something that I'm very proud of when I talk about it. And moving forward, I mean I'm just hoping that, that more and more artists, you know, that uh, or celebrities or even the day-to-day consumers, they can help us do a bit of shout out. Yeah, stuff. because that was the one thing that was very, very surprising. Because you know we sell a lot of different categories of products online and offline um, but I was very impressed by the amount of users online like especially on Shopee right a lot of customers that even unprompted would just send you videos or pictures of them using the, the product right uh, using the tongue cleaners for example if our viewers are watching our background video yeah they'll be able to see it right right now. like one of the very specific one uh, I'm not trying to do a R-rated uh, you know, content down here, but by putting in a tongue cleaner into your mouth and scraping it is not the most pleasant experience. No, no, it is. You know, you, yeah. you want to like, ah, ah. Yeah. That experience is not very good, but you know, like, 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 yeah, you see, you see the background one that is it's scraping now. That, that kind of an action, uh, it's not pleasant. Well, I think. Generally speaking, using a tongue cleaner isn't something that everyone is, is necessarily very exposed to and some people don't even know that tongue cleaners exist. So exactly. in terms of like just increasing overall awareness of you know how to use tongue cleaners, what they are and you know what kind of role it plays in like dental health, for example, right? right?